Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and I'm back with another plan with me. This week I am planning the week of June 4th through the 10th in my Jesenius Printables um, week on three pages or four pages really. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to really show you last week and how it looks after the pen and after, you know, it's actually planned in um, with appointments added in, everything like that. So, yeah, so I'm just going to take this guy out. Can't believe this month is already here, June. I mean, it's summer months. It's crazy. So the kit that I'm using this week is from Sticker Bloom. It is Reading and Chill, and I think it's pretty cute. It's almost like a, it seemed like a little bit of a transition between spring and summer, almost like, you know, season neutral, I would say. So um, yeah, it has these beautiful little cacti in the um, background, and I've been really making sure that I've been reading every night. Um, so I wanted to treat myself by using this reading and chill sticker kit. So, um, yeah, so I will go ahead and get started planning. Um, here I'll go through really quick, um, the different pages. Here are the full boxes. I think those are super cute. And if you know my planning style, I like boxes that have kind of just these simple patterns that you can cut up because I do cut up a lot of my full boxes because I don't use them as full boxes. Um, then there's this icons page with some of these little um, script stickers. I love skinnier um, heart checklists. I just, I don't know why, but I like things to be smaller or skinnier, things like that like these little hearts, it doesn't need to be huge because then I can write more in there. And my calls, I usually use these at the top for my calls. It won't take up so much space, so I could probably use more of the full box, so that would be nice. Um, here are some half boxes, some little quarter boxes, a bunch of bildus. I never use these. Um, maybe I'll give them to my mom or something because um, I never I never plan my bildus. I kind of just, I have a whole system that I do. <laughs> But cute little flags. Um, I like these little appointment labels here. Then here's some um, headers and some little things. The bottom washi and washi strips. And this kit comes with glitter headers. And here's the date covers and all the numbers. Awesome. And then I took this out just in case I needed to use some washi. It's this gold um, foiled washi and I can't recall I think it's probably Michael's um, I don't know if it's gonna show up focus <coughs> there it goes so it's this gold scalloped washi which is super cute um, and pretty pretty simple. I mean, it's not too overpowering, but I thought it would bring out a little bit of the gold glitter headers a little bit. So, and it's not too see-through. So if I need to bring that in, I brought that out just in case. So now I will just go ahead and speed through and get started planning. Okay, I am doing this voiceover so late, um, so sorry about that. This video is going up later than usual, um, but I am just using, doing my usual planning, um, getting started with my calls at the beginning of the day, and I really like um, using, this kit has some skinny, of, skinny versions of that full heart ombre checklists which I really liked because then they don't take as much room at the top um so I really like how those turned out I really enjoy still using the glitter headers instead of the today banner um it just kind of makes it feel not so prescribed and I don't know I'm, I'm moving away from using too many headers with text on them um just just really enjoying the glitter headers so I hope everybody's 
week has gone well, and I hope you're excited for the weekend as much as I am. Um, my husband and I have been working on our yard um, every weekend, basically, uh, nonstop. This coming weekend for this week that I'm actually planning with you right here, um, we have a birthday party for my husband's parents, and we are hosting that at our house, so I'm excited to do that. Um, on screen here, I'm just zooming in a bit and finishing up my sidebar and then doing the usual, putting down my dinners at the end of the day. Um, again, if you, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, I like to put my work calls at the top. Um, I have a full heart checklist to do in the middle of every day, except on the weekends. And then I like to track my dinners every single day of the week. Um, I just... I don't know. Dinners are, you know, part of my cool down for the for the day. I love cooking, so it's definitely something I have enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed keeping track of. I mean, um, so yeah. I think I might take you guys through my new Happy Planner recipe planner. I've been really enjoying that. I only put in recipes that I know I'm going to make over and over again. Um, so they are, it's basically going to be a collection of only my favorite recipes ever. So I will definitely share that with you guys eventually. Um, I don't know if I want to do it quite yet or maybe just let me know in the comments. It doesn't have that many. It has a couple recipes in each section, but so far not that many. So if you're interested though in seeing like the progress and how I'm using it to plan and or how I've decorated it and things like that um, yeah let me know in the comments if you're interested in something like that so I'm just putting down my to-do headers for all of my to-do lists throughout the week again I love anything that kind of tightens up the sticker space so I like that these heart checklists were skinny on Wednesday, I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm using a half box and then using this little glitter flag and putting a exclamation point to signify that I have an appointment. And just plugging that in, I'm going to hand letter my um, habit trackers. Lately, I've been tracking vitamins and reading. Um, I have switched to using gummy vitamins and oh my goodness, I mean, I don't know if I even need to use a habit tracker for vitamins anymore because it's like eating candy every morning for breakfast. So, I mean, there's really no point in having to track because I already know that I'm going to eat them. I mean, <laughs> there's, there's no doubt. I love gummies. So, um, I might switch to just tracking, um, something else like going on a walk or working out, um. So yeah, um, down at the bottom there, I am just putting in a little once more with love, um, little chubby guy thing, I don't know, workout sticker. And then I am using a Tamashi Prints sticker for Thursday. So those are, I'm just signifying the two days that I want to go to the gym. And I thought those were cute instead of using a half box or a, um, a quarter box or something like that, just to use the open space and using little flags to signify the time. And I really like that. So I might do that again this week uh, when I plan again. Um, on Fridays in the summers for my work, we get summer Fridays where we get to, um, it's usually you log off early. Um, or you do some sort of professional development or a team activity. But since I am not um, with my team in New York, um, I think I probably won't get to participate in a lot of team activities. Um, so I'll probably just log off. Um, now just going through on to Saturday and Sunday. And I wanted to signify something special for the birthday party that we're having. Um, so just setting up the top boxes, I've been enjoying just putting two glitter headers and then two full boxes up at the top and trying to incorporate the weekend banner if I can, if the, if the full boxes allow it. 
Um, so this week they did. I really liked the one on the left with the polka dots. I felt like it was perfect to have something to pop inside there and signify the birthday party. Um, so I'm just making a to-do list for Saturday. The way I use my to-do lists on the weekends, it's really more of either memories that I write down Sunday night before I go to bed, or it's things that I need to get done for the weekend. So definitely think that it's going to be things that we need to get done because of the huge party that we're going to have. We're going to have both sides of my husband's family um, at our house because it's both of their birthdays, it, both of his parents' birthdays. They are only nine days apart. So pretty awesome. Um, just cutting down some full boxes here to make them fit to fill in some of the extra spaces throughout the week. And sometimes I'll layer on top some character stickers or flags and things if I need to plan anything. Um, but usually sometimes they just kept be kept are kept blank. Um, so yeah, using a couple washi strips and using this little laundry day sticker, um, I want to try and make sure that we have all laundry done before the weekend. Um, doesn't really mean that I'm going to have it done on Wednesday, but it's kind of like a reminder. I just like using those little laundry stickers. Um, use a little thing to mark down TV and... Yeah, so now at the top here, I am just using some washi strips to cover up the text, and I end up using a little flag with a little heart sticker on top of it just to um, mark a happy thought um, without actually having to write out happy thought. For the next week box, um, I do the same thing except I use the happy mail script sticker. Um, I used this little cleanup sticker from to signify that we will probably be cleaning up from the party on Sunday. And then I used this, this little Happy Daya sticker is from a freebie from my first order from them. And it's a little girl blowing out candles on a birthday cake. Um, and I thought it was super cute. So I wanted to use that to mark the birthday party. Um, and I was thinking I might add something else up there, but I end up not adding anything and just writing in details about the birthday party. Then on the notes section, I like to add in a full um, ombre heart checklist and use that to meal plan for the following week. Um, this is where I'll start planning um, the dinners for um, the following week so that um, I can start getting ideas. And then I also use this to just remind myself on what I have, what I went shopping for, basically. Um, so yeah, just adding a couple of script stickers. And then I wanted to just basically memory keep on Sunday. So I used a piece of the washi and then turned a half box on its side. And I probably will just mark down maybe movies or maybe we might work on the yard or something like that. But um, we'll probably do be doing a lot of just cleaning up the house. Then over here on the list section, I never use this section and I don't know what to use it for. So. If you use it for something other than the lists, I mean, let me know. Um, I'd love to see and check it out and try something different. Um, so I end up just blocking it off with some washi tape and then using one of the full boxes because I wanted to use up the full boxes in this kit because they are so beautiful and just so detailed. I liked them a lot. Um, then I use some glitter headers just to cover up the text at the top. And then I wanted to put a spot um, to mark all the movies that we watch during the week. Because at night we watch quite a few movies and I'm trying to cut back on a lot of TV at night. Um, so especially during the summer, I want to spend more time outside rather than sitting in front of the television and, you know, not doing much. So... Um, I just wanted to have a special spot for the movies that we do watch um, and mark them there.
that is the end okay so i think this kit is gorgeous i definitely liked using the glitter headers um last week instead of headers so i definitely wanted to carry that over especially since there were glitter headers in this kit and i love how it turned out i tried to spread the colors out evenly and i think it looks really nice i love it um and again I fill in the pen during the week because I really do use this planner as a planner. Um, it not, does not just sit on my desk for Instagram photos. <laughs> um, yeah, so I definitely scratch things out and, and use my trusty, trusty Tombow mono correction tape um, quite often and move things around, so yeah. That's why I do like white space for my to-dos because I do cross things out and move them and all that kind of stuff. And I don't fill in my calls until Monday morning um, just because things get moved Friday afternoons for some reason. They're just always hectic at work. So things just get shuffled around. Anyways, um, so yeah. Um, just a couple highlights. Um, this little book stickers from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, this little, um, what are they called? What does she call them? Emojis? I don't know. That's Coffee Monsters Co. I forget what she calls them. But this is from Once More With Love. This is from Tamashi Prince. And I think that's it. That's not from the actual kit. I do stick with the kit. And then throughout the week, I'll add icons in my to-do list. Um, and then here for the weekend, this is from a sampler from um, a previous order that I got from Happy Daya. And we're celebrating my husband's parents' 60th birthday. We're doing a huge party at our house. Um, so definitely going to reserve this area for things that we need to pick up, like the cake. Um, we're going to be grilling, stuff like that. And then Sunday, I kind of wanted to leave open and have a cleanup day, lazy day, and probably just watch movies or maybe work a little bit in the yard. And so I left this open so that I could put in what we did that day. Um, and then I have my area for my happy thought of the week, my happy mail tracker. Um, I just have two things, I think. Yeah, I just have two things. I bought um, a Fur and You, um, one of those little floral things, um, ephemera things that you attach to the front of your planner, and I can't wait. I got that during the Planner Boss Collective sale, and then I'm also getting a FabFitFun box. Um, so yeah, I might do a um, FabFitFun unboxing, possibly. I used to do those on my old channel, and they were pretty fun, so... I do that again anyways um, and then down here I do um, my meal planning for the following week um, in this dinner area and then so far it's been working pretty well for me so I wanted to keep doing that still not figuring out what to do with this priority section and this don't forget section I just have no idea I do kind of use this as a list making area. Um, like right now I'm using it as kind of a just plan, you know, need to jot something down kind of thing. Um, but yeah, then here I wanted to mark the movies that we watch during the week because we do watch a lot of movies during the week. Usually like, um, like this week we watched, we started watching a movie on one night and finish it the next night, you know, that sort of thing. So I wanted to just track a couple of movies. Then I still, I really wanted to use this full box, so since I never use these, this full area, um, I just plugged that right in there. I might cut this down so it's the same level, just for aesthetically pleasing purposes, um, but I think it looks cute there. Um, still just don't know what to do with this area, I don't use it. Um, so I didn't really want to decorate it. So, but yeah, I want to just take you quick through, um, what I have left. I have pretty much all of these icons. I was thinking I might use this as maybe like an Etsy to do what I should do for my Etsy shop. Um, things that I have need to, 
I need to start designing and finding time. Work is just, is finally slowing down now that it's summer, but yeah. So I think I might do that. Um, but yeah, lots of icons, lots of these um, little quote things left over. I definitely save all of these. Um, then I have lots of glitter headers left and lots of numbers. I use these numbers in my fitness planner because it is undated, so I do use these numbers. Um, so I like to save those. Then there's no full boxes left, but a couple pieces and some appointment labels. Um, then I've got a few of these half boxes left, some quarter boxes, all the bill dues because I don't ever use those. One flag, the bottom washi, some washi strips, a couple appointment labels, some of these full heart checklists. Um, this one not quite full because I used one piece of that. And then I've got quite a few headers and lots of little things left because I don't use very many of these. I just use the food and a couple of TVs. Um, I rarely use these things because I like to use character stickers instead. Um, so that's it. And again, this is from Sticker Bloom and I think it is gorgeous. So if you're interested in this, it is the Reading and Chill sticker kit. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that quick little plan with me. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you next time. Bye.